we were having a conversation. We took two tall boys from the bar on the walk. Josh, mid conversation, turns around, throws up, <laughs> and then continues talking. <laughs> What is Chief and my dudes? Welcome to the St. Patty's Day episode, where we are going to go through three stories each with me, Bryce, and our famous French guest, Joshua. I'm not going to, do you want to say your last name? Is that legal? Can we do that? Oh, oh yeah. Uh, can we? Do uh, I wouldn't. People I start mean, stalking you... me. Jocelyn's going to be all pissed. <laughs> okay, well, Joshua. Asked... <laughs> Joshua Daniel. We'll just say that. That's not French. No, it's not. No, but his last thank name, God. very French, is croissant. Honestly, you're up there next to Zinedine Zidane with my favorite French. <laughs> you don't, didn't you, the headbutting guy? <laughs> yeah. How, how, why is he in your favorite? Because very anti-French move to pull. A headbutting a guy mid-soccer game, respect. True. What's, what's, the, uh, <laughs> what's the guy that peed on, a, on an airplane? Do, Me. De, Depar, Depar, Depardieu. Oh yeah, the coke oh. guy. No, no, he was like an actor, but he, he like peed yeah. on the middle of a, an airplane, like in the aisle, because they're like, you can't use the bathroom. Like, oh that. yeah, oh yeah. <laughs> he was in the movie Last Holiday with Queen Latifah. He's the chef in that. Oh, so you thought he was a chef because he was yeah. a pit, not he played it. a chef. <laughs> yeah. chef what about John Favreau? Do you think he's a chef too? I mean, he probably he actually is. In the movie Chef, yeah. You don't need to be licensed <laughs> to be a chef. You can be a chef. As they say chef. in Rat Patootie, anyone can cook. Oh. <laughs> so yeah, we're doing three stories uh, each of our favorite stories of drinking with friends. Because that's what St. Patty's Day is all about. Yeah, I don't know what it's actually supposed to be about. I don't know who St. Patrick is. Is he like the Irish Santa Claus? <laughs> I don't, I don't think, I don't so. think so. Is that the significance? I'm, I'm pretty sure that Irish people are still Christian, so... Catholic. Oh, my God. Definitely not Christian. Well, who knows? Oh, Josh is going to look it up. Oh, get on it, Jamie. I'm looking it up. I'm curious. <laughs> <laughs> we can see you. We know what you're doing. I've never seen you so do something. <laughs> he's either that or he's like, we've got to look up this porn right now. <laughs> St. Patty's Day porn. I didn't know what to type in. I, just, I did why celebrate St. Patrick's Day. <laughs> <laughs> to get drunk what else did you type in what is the origin, origin of saint patrick's day yeah <laughs> <That's cool. laughs> my god can you imagine if joe rogan took five minutes to look up something number one podcast hey, I, bet the, I bet the beginning <laughs> one's good <laughs> hold on <laughs> we're over it now <laughs> hey jamie your googling's gonna be way faster next time <laughs> hey jamie stop using ask jeeves use google from now on what I saw the gender reveal thing last night, mm -hmm. but I watched it like in bed at ten o'clock, muted, so I had no context into what was going on. Oh, well, but I saw the bee come out to fight. Yeah. Then I thought I was gonna see you dressed up as a bird come out to fight, and I was gonna be birds versus bees. That and there was power. two bees. I was like, why are there two bees? No, because yeah. the question was, what's it gonna be? So the whole thing was like was like bee related. It was. What will it be? Um, there were other things related to bees. I don't remember what, what it was, but does he have like a thing for bees? The family like he loves honey. I, he'll put that on anything. <laughs> I'm just kidding. No, I don't know. I don't know why. <laughs> no, um, including but, including Chelsea. <laughs> yeah, I'm gonna throw up now. <laughs> um, the old, my, yeah, one, had... my one gripe. My one gripe was why did you both stand up? You should have just because, knocked him the fuck out. He should no, have just fell back. And, okay, yeah, how are you declared winner there? No, I know. That's yeah. what I said. I, I said this. I said exactly that. And then Hope's like, no, 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 no. You should have it where you both get knocked out, and then I declare who the winner is. I think because, honestly, I think because Hope wanted to say it without anyone else knowing the gender. And I'm like, dude, uh, it's not. it doesn't make any fucking uh, sense, though. I'm like, it makes no sense. Uh, Why would we both fall down? Honestly, and then, that's yeah. a debatable decision. That's a double, I know. That's a double knockout. It, it's a double knockout. So that means I it's know. a boy or a girl. Let it decide. Well, twenty twenty three. That's that's maybe that's what and she was trying to say. I don't know. For her. Yeah. <laughs> yep. <laughs> but I, I think that Chelsea hope. might still be in like disbelief about it because she was like, "Well, you know, we'll see." Like, like the next uh, at, at the what's it called the she, after ultrasound? the announcement, she said, "We'll see." No, she said like, "We'll, we'll see." <laughs> at, the, at the next ultrasound, like 
if that's right. Well, because sometimes they get that wrong, though. Like, they're like, oh, yeah, sometimes. it's male or it's, it's female. Very, to get it wrong. But I feel like it's more likely that it would be wrong this way than if it was, oh, it's a boy. If they say it's a boy, it's going off of whether, the, whether or not they have a Y chromosome. But gotcha. you don't get the testosterone until later sometimes. So, like, maybe it, hmm. it could be a, a boy later on. For me, when, they, have when, a, they, were doing, yeah. when they were doing the ultrasound, they are like, our policy is we can't tell you what it is because we've been wrong a couple times. And she goes, but I can tell you what it's not. And they're like, oh, oh cool. okay, I see. Yeah. And there's me sprawled out with my dick out. <laughs> and the, the, the doctor goes, Sounds does that right. look familiar? <laughs> and my dad's like, all right, yeah, that's, that's a boy. <laughs> nice. Did they have a preference either way? Uh, we all, well, pretty much all of us wanted it to be a boy. But, yeah. you know, I mean, it's, you had a 50-50 shot regardless. But I think it's because we already have Aurora. And me personally, I don't want to favor one of the girls. Because like, there's going to be two girls now, obviously. And, like, yeah. I, I would feel more comfortable if there was a boy and a girl. Because it would be like, oh, you're my favorite nephew. Or, oh, you're my favorite niece. But now if I say you're my yeah, favorite you niece, on their toes. That's, that's not good. Aurora, Aurora was first, so. I, mean, I know she was first. but Sorry. Like, sorry, baby girl number two. Yeah, no, it's been tough for you to deal with with your parents, huh, Josh? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> <laughs> what? Wrong, I can walk we into have that one. Continue tradition. <laughs> it's not you right. You were number two. You were number Josh, two. What are you? Josh is saying that from a closet <laughs> where he lives. You got to keep up tradition, man. I had to go through it, and so will you. Go <laughs> ahead. <laughs> All right, well, that makes sense. Yeah, it makes a lot more sense when uh, you have context. Um, so you, should we get started on this episode? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah so we're just talking about drinking stories. Uh, yeah. I had Logan refresh me on some of them because you were I was drunk. like, Logan, what are some like fun drinking stories you remember from us? And she threw out like three. I was like, I don't even remember those, but yeah. those are yeah. great ones. Alcohol. <laughs> That's what alcohol yeah, does to you. That'll do it. <laughs> Josh, why don't you kick us off? Okay. It, and this is one of the ones that uh, when I was talking earlier, I don't know if they're the same story or not, but we'll we'll figure it out together. the The four loco night. I mean, we had we had a few four loco nights, but the one in is particular, that, 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 Kyle just got broken up with, and we had four locos night. So was that? Yeah, because yeah. I <laughs> yeah. I got so fucked up, I chugged a four loco, and then with took Kyle. a shot. And then played uh, King's Cup and finished another four loco, and that's when I was puking blood in the toilet. Oh no, 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 Josh, that no, was that was a different one. Because my face got drawn okay. on that night. That was a different one. See, so it, the the first I, I four loco night, too. Kyle was the one that was throwing up because he got mounted by Scout. Yeah, he got mounted by Scout. just mounted. He's sitting in the chair and, and Scout the dog yeah. humps him out of the chair and then proceeds to hump him <laughs> while he's on the floor. And we're all just watching it while he's going, no, stop it. Stop he it. Wanted like, it. He he's, wanted trying, it. he's trying so hard, but he can't fight him off because he's just too wasted. He just can't do it. Okay. That so was also the night where he threw up I was like, hey, let me know when you're going to throw up. He's like, okay, I'm going to puke. I'm like, right now? So I pick up a bowl, and I put it in front of him, but it was one of those big fucking popcorn bowls, and it just went down and right back up and just splattered all over my arm. I'm like, yeah. are you fucking kidding I, me, dude? Yeah, and then, yeah, Bryce got his face drawn on, and I I almost fought my brother over it because oh, he, yeah. he was just being the dick. I was like, did uh -huh. you write on his face? And he was like, what if I did? <laughs> I don't know what you're he talking about. He didn't do it. <laughs> no, I, I don't. Even if he did, he got a fucking I, sharpie I don't in his think hand. He did it? I really don't think he did it. But yeah, he, what if I did? What? I feel like on. honestly, but, I feel like it was Andrew. If anybody, Andrew wasn't there. I, I could see that. Oh, he showed up maybe just not. to stop by and draw a dick on your face, man. The other I, story I, you might but, be thinking of is on my list. Is it the one where I shoved bread down your throat? Yeah. Yes, that's the one I was thinking. Yes. So yeah, I think I think I think everyone goes through that phase of they need bread when they're drunk. Yeah. It's like that does nothing. So you're shoving yeah, bread down my throat as I'm trying to puke. Trying to give you yeah, he's like, so trust so me, yeah. man. You're going to thank me in the morning. And it's like, this fucking bomb is down your throat. You're and so the, and then I... It. Are you like yeah, tears no. in your eyes for throat? He starts trying to, <laughs> trying to cradle the balls. And he's like, wait, this is just bread? 
<laughs> and then I passed out on the couch and wake up the next morning and see pictures of a dance party. And it's like, I'm passed out on the couch and you guys are just living it <laughs> oh, up. Oh, yeah, you're living it up. Yeah. <laughs> yep. Oh, my so God. That, that so was, that was one of my worst nights, but also a very memorable, non-memorable one. Because, yeah, holy I shit. Put- <laughs> Number one on my list was Four Loco Night, of course, because, yeah. I mean, this was before so, yeah, they took two. the bad shit out of it. Like, the bad shit this was, was back like, was poison. Yeah, it was basically, like, <laughs> lighter fluid. <laughs> and where we had no, like, inhibitions, because I, I don't know if that's yeah. the right word, but I remember we pounded those Four Locos, and then we took our skateboards and hit the hill. Oh, yeah. <laughs> like, let's yeah. go ball <laughs> that hill right Dude, now. There were so many times when we were like, let's just, let's go skating right now. One of them was... Yep. Uh, I think that was when we did the S Hill, right? What's the S Hill? The, the one where, we, where Josh fell in front of all of us, and then we try to avoid Behind him Bernardo. while we're skateboarding. I, yeah. I think we were sober for that. I think we were sober. Yeah, we didn't drink for that. Okay. Mm-mm. No, no. Thank no, God. The one, where, the one where I was pulling Kyle on the longboard, sober on that one. Sober. But somehow that mm-hmm. was more dangerous than half the shit we did while we were drunk. It made no sense yeah. at all. I almost <laughs> killed him with his own car, and they're like, well... At least they weren't drinking. At least they're being yep. responsible. Definitely. Um, so yeah, number that was my number one as well. But I had I put a, a couple on there in case we had to overlap because of course we're going to. Um, yeah. The your boot camp the night before your boot camp when you're going to leave. That's my number two. I think we're going to have a lot of overlap. So it's probably just going to be a conversation thing. And we had Caribou Lou and Jungle Juice. Your brother made both of them, and it was like oh. pay five bucks and you can drink all you want, man. And I don't know why, but I, I don't like pineapple or coconut. And that has both of it. And I was like, that was before your boot camp. I'm ladling it into this yeah, cup. I'm, yes, like, I'm like, oh, I hate pineapple. I hate coconut so much. And Kyle's like, stop fucking drinking it. There's jungle juice yeah. right there. <laughs> yeah, there's something else. But yeah, that was, uh, I left the next day and I had to go buy a new pack of socks because Kyle used my socks as a pillow <laughs> yeah. and puked on the, the socks. So I had to go buy a new pack. I heard him that night. I, I'm laying in the room or in your room on your floor. And Kyle, I hear him like creak open the door. He's like, Daniel, are you in here? I was like, yeah. And he's like, okay, I'm going to sleep too. And then I hear him like scrounging around the in like the closet area. <laughs> and then all of a sudden I hear him laying there and like, <laughs> I was like, I don't know if he's puking or just trying to get comfortable or, or what's going on here. And then the next morning, we like I said, we had caribou, Lou, which is very uh-huh. yellow. And it was just all over these. For the Navy, you have to have white everything. So he had a big yeah. pack of white Coast socks. Guard. Coast Guard. Coast sorry. Guard, Coast not Guard. Navy. I know a lot of people in the Navy. That's my bad. Uh, yeah. So he pukes all over these white socks and it's just stained yellow. And he's like, that's that's my bad, Josh. I'm sorry. <laughs> no, what I was just thinking, I feel like most all my stories are well before we were 21. Yeah, a lot of them were. Yeah, well, <laughs> one of, at least at least for me, because I, I left. Like, oh, yeah. that's so true. only you one of my like stories 19, from after. 20? I left at 18. Really? Damn. Yeah. Damn. I left at 18 and then moved back for like the six months after I got out, and then. So yeah, a lot of our oh, drinking yeah. years were spent uh, apart. Yeah, one one of my the ones that I had on there as like an honorable mention was when you were in boot camp or, or I don't know where you were, something maybe like Louisiana. But Bryce and yeah, I would I was play rum zombies all the time, and he man, we managed to get a giant handle of like this something bay rum. I don't know what it was. It was cheap. It was around that they didn't mind going missing at a bar. Super cheap, super cheap alcohol. And I, he, he breaks Christ, it out of the back of his mouth. car. He breaks out of the back of his car. This is our only alcohol for the night because we're under 21. Oh, and he drops it in Perfect. the fucking driveway. And he's like, hey, man, party's getting started now. And, like, Shh. and I'm like, bro, that was our alcohol for the night. And we were like too uh, poor to go have someone else buy us alcohol because you always like chip in more. And they're like, "Thanks for buying it, man. Here's an extra five or yeah. ten, or you know." And I was like, "We yeah. don't. We, there's no one else who can buy us alcohol don't now. That. We we gotta yeah. play video games sober. What the hell, dude? <laughs> like a bunch of losers." <laughs> yeah. So yeah, that was my your number one was my number one, and my number two is your number two. So this is, we're doing yeah. great so far. <laughs> 
have a random segregated one. I have two separate ones of you guys. Uh, this is the one that Logan told me, and the one where we were in Portland and we were drinking. We oh, no. ended up on the at a drag bar on stage dancing. But what made this yeah. uh, story notable for Logan is you can't do this nowadays. I don't think in Portland you're walking back on that bridge in Portland into downtown. Oh, we walked uh-huh. like a mile and a half downtown, but we were having a conversation. We took two tall boys from the bar on the walk. Josh mid conversation turns around throws up and then continues talking no, <laughs> no i i didn't no i didn't we didn't take the tall boys we didn't do that i chugged it i chugged it before we left because i think oh, okay. logan had she's like i'm not gonna drink this i'm like i'm not letting that three dollar tecate go to waste it was almost so like I a slammed it. how like quick it was it's like did you just throw up <laughs> i'm like yep let's do it let's go <laughs> dude i did that when we were playing uh beer bash because bryce and oh, i just kept God. fucking playing and like we we win, but when you're winning, you're still chugging beers. You drink a lot, yeah. So there's, I'm drinking a lot, and we and we play literally a... drinking faster than other people. If yeah, but you are. If you're winning, you're you're yeah. not taking a break. So we played like uh-huh. three or four games, and I'm like, oh god, I'm so fucking full right now. I'm like, I'm not even drunk. I just feel so full. I was like, hang on, guys, before we start this game, and I like went over to like where your dad's boat area was, and I was like, oh, I just yeah. puked <laughs> all over the fence, and I was like. All right, boys, let's play again. <laughs> I know that. And then that was that was oh, also yeah, the no. night that Shayna showed up later, and oh, I was like, I was like, does anybody have any gum? I need gum. <laughs> <laughs> They're like, why? I'm like, because Shayna's showing up in five minutes, and I'm gonna give her a kiss when she gets here. So I really need some some mint. <laughs> and then I told her, like, someone told her later, and they were like. She's like, you threw up, right, dear. and then you kissed me, and I was like, I put gum in my mouth. What else yeah. do you want? <laughs> what do you me? expect? <laughs> uh, but yeah, that that Portland one was a good one. What's next on your list, Josh? Uh, so yeah, before I moved for Coast Guard was on there, so that takes that one out. And so the other one memorable one, we didn't even really get like hammered or anything. We it was right before I moved up to Bend. We all just like sat around telling stories and like, I think we shared a bottle of wine or something. So mm-hmm. that was just like a, a very memorable one, I think. Cause yeah. for the it's coast, I was like, oh, I'm coming back. I'm coming back. And, yeah. That one blows my mind that so, you drove that whole night. Dude, I woke up at like six. To, I woke up at 6 a.m. that morning and then, yeah, we hung out and did shit all day. Then we went to the hookah bar. Yeah. And then I I left at like yeah 10 p.m. and didn't get to Ben till like one or two. And then I my I had cousins that were in town, so then I went and hung out with them at this pool and got dinner. And I didn't yeah I didn't get to sleep till like 10 o'clock the next night. Same. I feel like I remember you saying like, I mean I woke up and I couldn't sleep anyway, so I just I just started driving or something like that. Like I mean oh no night. no. My- my, yeah, my brother just texted me. The that was when I drove from Virginia to California in like three days. That's when I was just I woke. I just couldn't fall asleep, so I was like, I guess I'll drive. But yeah, that's my brother was okay. like, yeah, yeah. he texted me. He was like, hey, you should just leave tonight so you don't hit traffic. I was like, eh, okay. I should have just waited. I should have waited for the morning. <laughs> you got it, buddy. <laughs> But like I said, we, we didn't drink much. Yeah, I think we all shared like yeah. a bottle of wine or something like that yeah. through like six to eight people. And um, it was like, yeah, you know, it was every time fun. someone would share a story, you cheers and then take a sip. Yeah. But it was like oh, yeah. literally like a cup of wine. That was yeah. it. Yeah. No. I remember everyone It was wasn't dangerous then... other than the lack of sleep. Yeah. I remember <laughs> everyone sharing. And then I think Allie was there too. And she like didn't, she was like, gonna miss you josh that's a good, a good one. one i like that one um another one actually that has to do with Allie was Allie's apartment oh, playing God. king's cup Earth. we all had different alcohols it was like four loco wine beer and then captain, captain and coke, coke i think i was yeah. i know i was the captain and coke for sure and then we all poured it in there and we're like Whoever's getting that King's Cup is going to be fucked. And you're like, 
think it was it me. was you it was you you're like, yeah. oh. you're like oh fuck. And you're like whoever gets it has to fucking drink it okay don't be a bitch and then sure and they were they were not light pours they were no, it was like it was a, like i remember it was like was a 7-eleven a cup. cup yeah, yeah. it's like a big bowl and then yeah you, you down that and then ali's like you guys want to see a movie and i'm like yeah sure so it was like a little theater room oh and, yeah and we watched cool. tangled remember dude yeah. when he's like you got me. That was that we fucking died, dude. I got a dream. Yeah, <laughs> I got a dream. And then the next that was a morning, good one. Allie was or Kelly wasn't supposed to be with us, and we actually were, tra- were dropping her off at her house that, that night. That yeah, was- that was the next morning. Didn't and then her we dad picked them up from someone's party. I think so. Yeah, you, like she was like they were at a party like somewhere. The and we like drove to go. Night. No, that night. No, I think no, no we, that night. Like we picked her up from a party because no, she that. told her parents where she was going. But then we picked him up from the place that she said she was going to, and then yeah. we stayed at Allie's house or place. And then we drove back and dropped her off. And that's when we saw her dad passing us, and we quickly Ooh. took the the tried and true method of covering up someone in the back seat and saying, "Don't say a <laughs> fucking word." Yeah. The three amigos. Yeah, it's like the three amigos, and we're like, I know you were like, yeah, hey, like, you, you're so badly wanted to say it. And then as soon as we're like, all right, well, we'll see you later. And then we drove by, and then Kelly was like, oh my god, that was terrifying. Yeah, damn, yeah, good times. Yeah. I forgot about that one. Yeah, that was a good night. I got one that is similar to Josh Shears, where we weren't drunk. I think me and you were the only one that had drinks. But it was the night that Daniel ran from the cops. I, did, oh, did I, wasn't, both? I wasn't there. No, you did it. Yeah, me and you did. Daniel didn't want to because he was driving. And thank goodness he did it because they Oh, yeah. Him. For the movie. That's the, right. the midnight premiere. Yeah. Yeah. I didn't run from the cops. I ran through a stop sign and then parked in a yeah. cul de sac. I mean, because we stopped like if you were driving <laughs> through it. <laughs> yeah. We were going going driving through, through the, the stop sign. Yeah. yeah, you see that you saw the cop and like, oh, fuck. Lines, okay. Yeah, the worst part is yeah. before that happened, I said, no cop, no stop. Am I right, guys? And yeah. then <laughs> blew right through what? it and then looked to my right. I'm like, shit. <laughs> That's just an iconic night because uh-huh. every time I we had... think of Kate going, she's under 18. Yeah, like, everyone, yeah everyone, she's everyone, like, you know, everyone 18. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> she's not. She's not. But well, I remember we is... threw, uh, I think we threw a four loco in the bushes. No, 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 no. We no. had like you, we, you guys, of or a bottle. It, in the... it was a, it was oh, a yeah, bottle yeah. of Smirnoff, but we were in the, I think, In and Out parking lot or something like that. And you're like, hey, do you want some? And I'm like, nah, I'm Earth. driving. Yeah, because thank God I did because Smart. they breathalyzed me, yeah. put me on the hood of their car, and then they had like three uh-huh. cops too. That's crazy. I know, and then yeah. carted everyone, and then they were like, yeah, exactly. And then they were like, oh. We're, we're like, we just want to know what you're doing, right? And they're like, oh, we're going to go see a movie. And they were like, just talking to you guys. Meanwhile, I'm sitting on the hood of the car like, we are so fucked. Because one of you guys was yeah. like, hey, let's throw this bottle in the in the bushes. I said, don't do that. Because the first thing they're going to do <laughs> oh, is, is they're going to look around the car for alcohol. So then we threw it in a trash can because it was trash day on that street. Thank God. Mm-hmm. And then they're, sure enough, they looked around oh, the car and they were like, Oh, okay, well, you guys have a good night then. I'm like, oh, thank God, dude. I'm pretty sure we were talking to them about like adult big wheels and stuff. Do you remember that? Yeah. Like, because or, remember, we, we talked, went to Travis we had Ranch. A weird conversation with it. Yeah. We went to Travis Ranch and, and nice. saw the big wheels and stuff and then found a teeter totter, I think, took stole that. Yeah. And then we took, <laughs> oh, we did steal. We stole it. We commented. We borrowed. It. Yeah. We, yeah, we borrowed. borrowed. Allegedly. We, what we did, no, 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 sorry. We, we relocated. This yeah, we piece really of equipment because we went from one park to the other with it, threw it around, and that's what they got called because of that, and that's why they were in the area because they heard like people like yeah. rustling around at the park, and then, then you know, no cop, no stop. Oh, 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 yeah, get on the hood of my car. Let me breathalyze you. <laughs> yeah, it's just like kids Damn. that have nothing to do. Yeah, like eighteen yeah. to twenty year olds that can't go mm-hmm. to bars. And then freaking, I remember yeah. I, while I was on the hood, they had the the high beams on you guys, and everyone's kind of like nonchalant about it, and Kate's in the back like, <laughs> like yeah. trying to like see what's going on, <laughs> just like I, terrified. When you, said, when you said run from, wasn't there one that like you guys were drinking? Did you break your finger I, or something like yeah, that? Yeah, I fucked up my thumb. It was oh. my eighteenth birthday, I think. Mm, maybe. Yeah, I mean, or it had to have been 19th because if it was 18th, I would have been there. You weren't there. 
I I wasn't there for that. It was probably your 19. I remember it was me, uh, Ali, and you. We were oh I, no, we it at, wasn't. We went to McDonald's. I would have. I thought you were there at McDonald's. Oh, it was for your birthday. Yeah, we put <laughs> you fucking put a tall, open up four loco in the trunk of her car, and it was like. Let's ride. Like, no, it's opened up. It's going to fall in that car. Mm -hmm. Uh, That was bad. And he threw up all down the side of her car. And the next morning, I had to, like, hose it off. Wait, I do think I... I don't know. I kind of, like, barely remember that. And a cop car came. And I don't know how much of this actually happened. Well, no. Very inebriated. Both of us were peeing outside. And then the cop came by and we're like, Play cool, dude. Play cool. We're peeing in the fucking bushes. Finished my pee. They drove by, then sprinted into the park. Uh huh. And then, meanwhile, Allie and I were like, "Okay, just, just act like we're on a leisurely stroll at fucking midnight." Yeah. <laughs> like yeah. arm in arm, a. M. <laughs> walking. And then uh, Bryce hops into the jungle gym, is like hiding the entire time, and we're just walking by, and they have like a spotlight where he ran, and we're like, "Okay." The attention's on him now. We should be good to go. I and thought then, it was like Tom Cruise's Mission Impossible. <laughs> like I, I messed up my finger because oh, I tried jumping over a truck hit, trail hitch, and I fucked oh, up the jump. Tri- I don't know how. <laughs> <laughs> and I like, landed on my thumb. Oh uh, shit! Sure. <laughs> he, yeah. he like broke his finger, and after we found him later, he's like, "Oh man, messed up my thumb right there, but escaped the cops, so it was worth it." <laughs> <laughs> so dumb. Oh, shit. Is it my turn or is it, whose turn is it now? We go for it. Popcorn. Yeah. Um, let's see. Oh, who could forget this one? The night that pretty much started it all. Prom night. Pro- oh. Yeah. For first me, time oh, actually, I really okay. drank. Well, I know the first time I ever got drunk was at the Burns' house, but I almost threw up. But that, I don't really remember that night that much. That was the whole "I'm aching up at fucking ten night." Yeah, oh, and getting that naked, was that. getting being pissed off, and then getting naked and sprinting down the street and just being miraculously happier. <laughs> hey, it's a, it, it works. <laughs> if it yeah. works, why fight it? Um, but yeah, the, talk uh, to a therapist about that. There's something there. Yeah. No, it's why like getting naked. Dude. I don't like clothes, dude. I don't like clothes. <laughs> I like them more now because they're more practical, I guess. Uh, but no, yeah. prom night when we we had like a couple like Smirnoff. This is before I liked beer, so we had Smirnoff yeah. ices yeah. and like Mike's Hard. And yeah. if you were lucky, maybe a wine cooler or two. I don't know. But uh, <laughs> Bryce and I, both very single at the time, uh, <laughs> were just like outside doing fucking track oh, practice. Yeah. While everyone's inside, probably making out, maybe even getting laid, and we're like, "Let's do a skip, okay? Now B skip, okay?" <laughs> you got you really? Yeah, we just yeah. like ran our track practice. Say, that's the whole night too. Not the whole night, because when we came back inside and we were watching a movie, it was a uh, what's the one where he's, he orders a pizza in his class? Total Stoner Spicoli. Oh, fast, uh, fast time, fast time. Oh, yeah, yeah. yeah. Yeah, mm-hmm. yeah. I just, I mean, yeah, I always remember times. we were like trying to like experiment with alcohol. So we're like, dude, vodka and coffee. Yeah, that was disgusting. Let's do yeah. it. <laughs> it's just garbage. Yeah, good times. Yeah, there's so many dumb stories. Mm-hmm. Yeah, I got another. I always like the uh, that I like the the night okay. or the morning afters are always really great. They're always they're, yeah, they're always hilarious. Yeah, yeah. Except for fu- except for puking and yeah, well, that being was, hung over. That's, that's one of the ones on my list is where you chug that naked juice. Just oh, spent like $5 yeah. on a naked juice. Pulls up to my neighborhood. And he's like, dang it. <laughs> <laughs> he wasn't upset about throwing up. He was upset because he just $5. wasted $5 on a naked juice. And then proceeded to bad. run it over. And there was a big, huge puke streak of a tire mark all across <laughs> our, our street. For yep. like weeks. <laughs> Uh, one honorable, honorable mention of mine was uh, the night that I surprised Daniel oh. uh, for, oh, yeah, for Kyle's DJ thing on the party bus. That was a good so one. So coming home, coming home from the Coast Guard, I told Bryce about it, but then didn't tell Daniel. So gave him the the shocking reveal, and then we had the, the party at that random club and ended you know up getting like, all the people over to the small the headliner yeah, was, was Kid Ink. 
Oh yeah, it was. It was. <laughs> Kid Ink, yeah, Kid Ink was in the the big stick main stage area, and then Kyle yeah. was off to like the side, and then yeah, all we had it went from like ten people in there to I don't know, a good amount of people. We got that uh, we got that place rocking. Yeah, yeah, that was a good. I was night. a good one. I don't think my eyes have ever gotten that big. Then when I turned around, I was like, "Oh my God, Josh!" <laughs> <laughs> Uh, huh. and then Daniel did that to me and Ben. Yeah, that was a good one too. Yeah, because he had. True. I thought I honestly thought he knew that I was coming up there because we were doing a podcast and he's like, "Oh yeah, Parker's coming up this uh, this next weekend." And he's like, "Oh, you know, you were down here about a year ago, maybe even like that weekend." And I'm like, "Uh huh, yeah, yeah, yeah. was I?" <laughs> and I'm like, "I'm like looking at my my say. flight ticket, like, oh, do you not say it? that's crazy?" <laughs> uh huh. And then and then. uh Parker was like, okay, I'm going to say hi to him. And as we're packing up the car, then you round the corner. And I was like, oh, okay. And I was like, hey, man, room for one more? And he's like, oh, I shit. I was like so shocked. It took me like no. 10 minutes to like <laughs> yeah. connect with what was going on. Let me pick you up later. We don't have enough room in yeah. the car. <laughs> um, my honorable mention story is a quote we said many times. It was a night in Newport with us. And it's when we went to the Cronut shop. And oh, you, yeah. I don't know why this stood out, but Daniel bought two cronuts or something, and he's like, "I got one cronut, and one cronut, two cronuts, two cronuts." In retrospect, <laughs> not that funny. No, it's like, not it's funny, no, but it's it like it sticks in your mind. I think we took a video of it, and and like the next morning we were just oh, kept watching it video and like busting up. It was like, Daniel, would you? I think it was Logan that was recording. She's like, Daniel, what'd you get? I was like, one cronut and one cronut. Two credits, <laughs> but I'm just blasted. Dude, I was going to text you too, oh. because I went to Jackie's wedding, and I saw Sarah, and I was like, Daniel, should I ask her, or should I tell her I'm going to get a beer? <laughs> Sarah, That's I'm going to get a beer. Uh, hey, Sarah, I think I'm going to get a beer. I don't know why. I don't know but who Sarah look. is. Oh, it's uh, one of Jackie's friends, but Logan yeah. was uh, Logan was saying... We were in some bar, and Logan was trying to enunciate so that Sarah could hear her, like, from across the table. Oh. She said it very, Sarah, I think I'm going to get a beer. <laughs> <laughs> and Bryce and I said that so many times that night. <laughs> um, no, I got I got a lot of honorable mentions. The um, Just basically any Rum Zombies night was a great night. Um, beer steer. One of the, one of my favorite things was the morning after. I think it was. I want to say it was like Easter Sunday or the Saturday before Easter, and we're all sitting there drinking. Or we're drinking there, and the next morning, I called out of Vaughn's. They're like, "This is our busiest day of the year, Daniel." And I was like, "Yeah, sorry. I think I got food poisoning." And they're like, "Sounds pretty convenient." I'm like, "That's your problem. Bye." Yeah. And then I hung up, <laughs> and we're like recapping the night. And fucking Kyle's sitting there just absolutely hung over, like beyond belief. He's like pale white, can barely even like open his eyes. Meanwhile, Josh is sitting in the corner, peeling off his toenails and just chucking him at him. But he's not hitting him and Kyle doesn't know what's going on. All he hears is... And it just like one yeah, after that the other. Yeah, was a little aggressive. Like what kind of toenails yeah, was, am I throwing? I was, I was, I was trying to do it so you could hear, but it was like, just like popping next to him, like to the left and to the right. And then also he's like, what the hell is that noise? And then the next one just clocked him like right in the side of the head. He's like, are you throwing your toenails at me? In retrospect, I think you were still pretty drunk. <laughs> so. I'm, I'm pretty sure. Was that not the same? Was that like the, I'm going to go get my blanket? Night oh, that morning. was the same night. Yeah, that was the same morning where he was pissed I th- I think off. That was, I think that was the night I went or left for the Coast Guard, too. Because that was mm. Easter Sunday that I left no, for the Coast Guard. He, he slept upstairs. So someone already... Because remember, someone stole his blanket and his pillow. Uh, and he's like, somebody stole my blanket and my pillow. I'm going to go so get it. You, he brought up and then, the pillow to the park. <laughs> And then he yeah. goes, he goes, he goes up the stairs and then sees it there. And he goes, and he can't, he doesn't know that we can hear him. And he goes, oh, they folded it. That was kind of nice. Yeah. <laughs> and then it comes back down. And I think we went and got ice cream or something like that. And he's like, I can't muster anything right now. I can just drink water. And then he puked. Oh. He's like, I've never puked up cold liquid. That felt so fucking weird. Yeah. <laughs> just pure alcohol. 
Oh, yeah, um, trying, yeah, I think it's all the ones on my list. Until I think so. Oh. This comes out mm. the 3rd, plus 4th to the 17th. Until Til May. three days ago, where we made an amazing memory. May? March 14th. What's March 14th? St. Patrick's Day. It's the whole reason for this episode. <laughs> What you said an amazing memory. What are you talking about? We will make one this St. Patrick's Day. Oh, oh, gotcha. We'll see. Let me start again. Is it? Yeah. Until three days ago when we made an amazing memory. Ah, right. Yeah. Yeah. St. Patrick's Day. When we, pay, when we pee <laughs> in six fountains. <laughs> Josh, I'm so glad you brought this up. Josh, remember that one commercial and how bullshit this commercial yeah. is? It's the basketball commercial and the black kid goes, <laughs> Coach, I fouled him. I fouled him. And he goes to tell the yeah. that he committed yep. a foul. I like, Daniel did that in our softball game. Pussy. Dude, don't fucking cheat, okay? I ran home, and there's a double home plate, and I touched the second home plate. Uh-huh. I don't know the rules. I'm new to this. And the hump yeah. goes safe, and I start heading back to the dugout. Daniel comes walking out of the dugout. Bryce, go touch home plate. Go touch home plate. He said it so loud. He was like, almost going to go tell the up. I said, what are you doing? What? <laughs> yeah. God damn. Look, that's man, like the I'm an honest in, in person. Class that's like, uh, Miss So and So, you forgot the homework. <laughs> <Yeah>. That's Daniel. <laughs> he, okay, but he clearly missed the plate, and I was like, I well, have to not the plate, ref. I'm no, a couple of take audibly, but dude. I'm like, no, but this guy couldn't see for shit, dude. I literally, the, Daniel wanted person, him to overturn his call. A person, okay. a person went to go tag me, and I like, ole, I like completely, they missed me entirely, and he's like, oh, I'm like, are you fucking kidding me? I said, you're yeah. fucking high, dude. I never yell at the umpire, but I was pissed because I'm like, nothing touched, not even like my jersey, nothing like that. I'm like, you're fucking high. He's like, no, you're out. I'm like. She didn't talk. She didn't touch me. And he's like, "No, sorry. If we had lost, I would have lost my shit because that it would have been yeah. because of that play, probably." Um, Softball gets competitive, gets intense. Yeah, but the uh, yeah. I, I will admit, I, I probably shouldn't have yelled that through the dugout. <laughs> go touch home plate. You didn't touch home plate. <laughs> Did you go touch home plate? Or... No, no, he was like, he's like, no, he's like, no, I called him safe already. I'm like, oh, okay, we're good. Oh, Whatever. Shit. There was a time too where I I should have gotten a home run, but I missed third. I missed the, the third base when I was rounding it, and I ran back to go hit third base. And one of our our like third base coaches, he's like, "What are you doing, man? Go home." I'm like, "I missed third. I missed third base." He's like, "No one's gonna know." I'm like, "I would know." Gives a shit. <laughs> I would know. You would be sitting there at night like, "Man, I did a touch third." Yeah, I would be like. I, I cheated. Like I, I can't do that. I feel horrible. What exactly. What do you think a second about it? God damn you, Bernice. <laughs> third base. That's why our twenty years, Daniel's like slamming cupboards in the kitchen. What's wrong, honey? What's going on? Third base. I didn't touch third base. Touch I could have gone pro if I had just touched third base. <laughs> Let's wrap this one up. You're going to have a 40 minute episode. This is going to be fun, dude. At least I'll have three weeks to edit it. That's true. Josh, thank you as always for joining us. Hopefully, you'll be back next month as we talk about our favorite stoners of all time. Mm. I don't know, 420, maybe? It's not bad. I don't don't smoke as much as I used to, but I used to definitely fall into that category. Yeah, we were just talking about our favorite stoners. You didn't have to like stoners? confess. <laughs> oh, you're his, you're your favorite stoner guy. <laughs> That's a true. Coach, I smoke. I smoke. A true, a true stoner answer. Or or yeah. it should have been who's your favorite stoner? Three minutes later, me. I'd like to. Oh, know. No. I think I am. <laughs> well, I think I, I get, I'm giving it some thought. Thank you, Josh. Why yeah. don't you sign us out of this episode? I'd rather not. <laughs> and for that, we thank you. From all of us here at the Cheap Podcast. Here at the Cheap Podcast. Keep it cheap. Keep it cheap. Good sewed, guys.